Talk to us a little bit about this forecast. 8%, which is massive organic growth. Can you keep up the pace? Well, I think we can. We obviously have guided a little conservatively for the second half of the year, but obviously a pretty strong Q2 forecasted. And with our long cycle bookings that we've seen in Q1 and our growth in our backlog, we uh, expect great things for the year. Now, we are seeing a bit of a global manufacturing slowdown in the data from around the world, the PMI data. Are you seeing that at Honeywell? No, not really. I mean, as you saw, both in our long cycle and our short cycle businesses, we had a very strong quarter. We're about 40% long cycle oriented. Our backlog has grown. So I'm very confident in that segment of the business. Short cycle has done extraordinarily well in Q1. Uh, I don't, we don't see any signs of problems, but we're planning cautiously for the second half because short cycle can turn very, very quickly. So, so far, so good. So are PMI data missing something then? Well, we may be in segments that are continuing to grow. I mean, you know, all industrial companies aren't the same. We play in different end, end markets and segment, and we have a different mix between short and long cycles. So, you know, sort of, we can't always kind of compare the broad-based uh, industrial indices. All four segments of Honeywell seem to be doing very well. What most concerns you for the rest of this year into the second half? Yeah, I mean, obviously the short cycle, particularly in our industrial solutions or productivity products business. We did see some level of destocking in a segment of our business, but uh, we expect that to dissipate. Uh, we're still planning on a tougher Q2 in that specific segment, but we're planning on a recovery in the second half of the year. So we did have a couple of uh, minor trouble spots, but overall the business uh, came in very strong. Now, you're aiming for 23, 24% operating margins, pretty close to peers. It, does, it seems pretty ambitious, and yet you are, say you're going to manage to do it. How? Well, as we always said, my number one priority as CEO was to drive organic growth, but we never say we're going to give up our, our margin expansion. And we do it through a combination, both commercial levers, which is managing our mix, always introducing new products, which are, bring more value to customers, but also not forgetting our roots, which is you know, driving productivity and so on. And with the number of ERPs we have, the kind of complexity we have in our supply chain, uh, Honeywell Digital, which is going to make us a much more contemporary digital companies, we have plenty of levers for product, productivity as well.